Hey, welcome to Cassie in the Garden. Okay. Uh, it's Tuesday. I had a few sec a few minutes on the plot last night that you'll see in a minute. I've had a <coughs> fly in my eye. I've had even less time on the plot today, but I only came to uh, pick some garlic scapes, as you will soon see as well. And um, yeah, a little surprise for Finn too. So um, enjoy. I'll speak to you soon. Hey, peeps. Welcome to Cassie in the Garden. It's Monday evening. Just finished work, just hot footed it down to the plot to see what's happening, if anything's happening. I know one thing that'll be happening, weeds will be growing. So let's have a look. Well, this is one confirmation that the weeds are most definitely growing. There's garlic in there and some strawberries. Oh my lordy lord, I really need to weed this. Yeah, strawberries, hello. But in amongst the weeds, there's this um, uh, calendula, which is a, what is it, pop marigold? And these poppies. I was hoping some of those would come back. They were just already here when I got the plot. So yeah, I'm keeping those. Garlics, oh my God, I can't even show you for the weeds. Garlic's looking pretty good. Look at this aquilegia, it's amazing. It's just totally self-seeded. It was here already on the plot and I've just left it. And I'm really glad I do. How are Finn's radishes doing? This is looking promising. Look at this. Wow! I'm actually on fin duty tomorrow, so I'm gonna. Hopefully, the weather's alright. I'm gonna bring him down here, pick some radish. Got no um, parsnips coming up, unfortunately. That's really annoying. I really love growing parsnips, and they taste amazing. I mean. Parsnips are good anyway, but home grown is just flipping ace. Yeah, so I really need to weed, but there should be some beetroot somewhere. I can see some. There we go. Can you see that one? There's a bunch there. There's a few, there's a few dotted around. Yeah, I'm going to module also some beetroots as well, because um, I've seen done before and then just um, the word there's a word for it and then just transplanted is that the right word okay then the modules of features are just been popped in where you want them to grow so yeah i'm gonna try that too because i think these are getting eaten uh, as they are for the moment guys how are my brassicas doing flipping it with more weeds oh look at this that's the kale. Oh, a little bit of a slug attack there. More potato. Oh, flipping it. Oh, more kale. Okay, let's look for the uh, look for the sprouts. Hello, sprouty. One, two, three, four, five. This bit here was my rye grass that I was going to shave off and keep the roots in it wasn't happening i left the grass to grow too thick so less than that now for next year so what i had to do against what i wanted to do is i dug it over literally just think what i just said <laughs> move forward and just turn it over um, it was quite interesting actually because it did show how nice the soil was underneath now because it's dry but you can see the roots you can see the roots in there and that's oh and weeds weeds but anyway so yeah um this was pretty cool so what am i planning here there's going to be swedes and Weeds. Sorry, it's so many things. Always weeds. Yeah, so 
I'm going to sow some, well, grow some swedes. They're at home growing at the moment. And I think there's more brassicary things to go in here. So, yeah, I'll um, come along. I think I'll just have to hack it down a bit with a spade. Lesson learned for next year. Don't put the right grass for really thick. I think I'm going to have to do some watering. Oh, my lease, Alison, is looking very, very dry. I think that might be a turnip. That one. Not that one. That's a poppy. I think this might be a turnip. I hope so. This was a row of them, but uh, I just don't have a lot of luck here or at home with direct sowing. If anything, the weeds survive a tree, don't they? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to module sow the turnips as well. Oh, what a faff. <gasps> oh, mm. I've just seen my dahlias come back. I'm really surprised. I didn't think it would last over winter but it's been a bit months. Someone was had a good meal out of that. That's a bummer. Good that it's come back though. Potatoes are looking happy. So these first few rows are my second earlies. Ones at the back of my first earlies. Chuff with the pots. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to earth them up though, you see. Um, yeah, I'll do it with mo with mo. With mo I'm making up words now. I'll do it with grass cuttings at home. <gasps> I think there's some grass cuttings down. Mm. Cuttings. They have a load down there for, for us, not stolen. Let's do it, not today. Concrete looking bonkers. Uh, when I came here a week or so ago with mum, I took a load and put it in the compost because it's really good to help activate your compost. I will be making a cage, cage, yeah, I was going to say cave, that'd be weird. <laughs> I will be making a cage um, to go over these, as with all my other brassicas, because we they need to be protected from the pigeons, slugs obviously, um, but yeah, pigeons and white uh, cabbage white butterflies. Um, so there's two types of white butterflies, based, both of those basically, because I've had it before at home. It, hilariously, it is a brassica massacre. The butterflies come along, lay their eggs on the leaves, eggs hatch to caterpillars, caterpillars eat the leaves, and holy moly, they lay a lot of eggs, and the caterpillars just... I don't know what the sort of the duration is from when the eggs are laid to when the caterpillars eat. It feels like days, like not a lot of days. Um, yeah, once they start eating, geez, they just devour everything. So I will be caging these. Not caving them, but still win. I'm gonna use, I've got some blue uh, water pipe. It's like the flexible stuff. You see it around quite a lot. 
Okay, that's a bad example. There's nothing in the background. But yeah, so I've got some blue water pipe. Um, I'm going to try that. I don't know if I'm going to have to use canes as well to make it a bit taller. And um, alternatively, we've got an old gazebo at home that I wanted to use. So I think that would definitely fit over this whole, this whole patch here. Um, I just need to get enough netting to do that. But uh, yeah, so watch this space. One way or another, these need to be covered ASAP. <laughs> so what have you got? You're gonna say show everyone what you've got. What's that, Finn? It's a lettuce. Who, Who put the seeds in the ground? Me. <laughs> so you have grown your own radishes. Good look at do it. Radish is in a bucket. Pick them up, pick them now. Pick them now. Okay. Just the bigger ones. We can leave the little ones. Little, little ones. That's okay. There'll be more that will grow. Oh, it's a little radish. It's just a little radish. It's a very little one. We can leave those in the ground. But that one's okay for now. What's in the bucket, Finn? Finn? Yay, what you got? I've got radish. We can take them home enough. We're going to eat them with dinner tonight. Yeah. Awesome. You want this? That's okay. It's what, Bean? It's cake, Mummy. Awesome. Ah, you're washing your radishes, are you? Yesterday, have a look, and my garlic is growing seeds. Finn, get off the camera. Can you come and help mommy cut some bits off? What's this? Right, Finn, you need to cut these off. We can all do it. Okay, two hands. Okay, yeah. look down here. Snip. Bup, there bup, we go. They got some of these. And this one. Down, down here.
So I'm popping down yesterday. I didn't notice all the time, but the garlic has started to go to seed. See, see. Uh, these are called scapes. So I've just read Google, gotta love a bit of Google. If you cut these off, the um the the energy that the plant has will go into growing the bulb. I was under the impression initially that as soon as they started doing this you just had to harvest them but I'm gonna see what happens um they smell amazing absolutely amazing I think you might better eat these um I'm not gonna do on that on camera just now just in case but I shall be googling that as well when I get home or researching in my abundance of plants vegetable growing book So thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, click the uh, ring the bell if you want to see more and if you're interested in allotment gardening and veg growing, um, yeah, and a bit of munchkin madness occasionally, it'll be great, happy growing.